born from the adventurous spirit of the Maori people who crossed the sea in canoes to arrive on its stunning shores. New Zealand is a nation of epic discovery. From cosmopolitan cities like Wellington and Auckland to the natural splendor of Abel Tasman National Park and the wondrous Milford Sound. Come and explore the North and South Islands of New Zealand. With a cast of characters as charming as that of the famous Lord of the Rings movies that were filmed here, you are sure to make some new friends along the way. Like Halfton Hansen, son of the Ringmaker. <laughs> or Nelson Food and Wine oh. Committee member Earl Troughton. My name is Earl Troughton. I've resided in Richmond for 28 years yes, yes. and uh, happy as. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. That holds it together. <laughs> Local Market was founded many years ago. As I said, I've been here 28 years and it was running then and it has just flourished and flourished. Uh, we're milking a cow. Uh, only this cow is, um, lives in the paddock just yonder. 100% uh, unpasteurised milk. Can you taste the difference? It's like chalk and cheese, my friend. Today we're doing kumara and potato mash. This is one of our local kumara, it's the golden kumara. We use this quite traditionally in our cooking. It originally came with the, the uh, Maori people when they first settled New Zealand. In fact, in the early British settlements, they, uh, the Maoris used to sell those for a penny a pound. To, and, and the British people lived on kumara and potato. I'd like to introduce my granddaughter, Mel. She calls herself the world's best granddaughter. Also the better cook. Also the better cook. <laughs> What's it like cooking with Earl? Terrible. Love it. <laughs> we argue like anything, but to me it's brilliant. Couldn't imagine anything better. <laughs> I'm shaking now. Cheers, folks. Happy days. Nelson isn't only a hub for natural splendor and fresh local cuisine. It's also the artistic center of New Zealand. Nelson is home to quirky cafes. The world of wearable art where you can see classic cars alongside fantastic costumes made entirely of fish skin. And the workshop where the infamous ring from the Lord of the Rings films was forged. I'm Halfton Hansen, eldest son of Jens Hansen, the maker of the ring. My dad was he was really well known as a craft jeweller in New Zealand. He was one of the founding fathers of artisan jewellery. By the time Peter Jackson's art team were looking around for people to work on the, the Lord of the Rings movies, um, he was the first choice for someone to make the ring. Um, it's uh, one of the replicas of one of the big rings that we did for, for the movies. Um, they played a lot in the movies with scale and also, you know, to see people's reflections in, in the ring. Sadly, it was, it was one of the last things that he worked on. Um, he, did, he did get uh, ill and of, you know, he got cancer like a, a lot of people do and um, he passed away tragically quite young, age 59. Um, but it's left uh, an enduring popular legacy. Big and bold, in a way few destinations can match, New Zealand stays with you. Take the time to listen to the stories of its people. Venture off the beaten path and experience New Zealand, natural wonders north and south.
Thank you.